What's going on guys, I'm here, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel, welcome back to some more Mario Kart Wii today, the 100th video of this game on the channel, hey? It is actually quite crazy for me to think about that right there, I'm not even sure why numbers, like, fascinate me in the first place, though. Hey? I've already made so many videos on different games when it comes down to, like, hours played or matches won. Oh my god, I'm getting freaking blue in third place, am I? <laughs> I do actually think with this being 100 videos and streams with that too, not even sure how many times I've streamed this game, but it's definitely more than 20 times. But now the total amount of videos and live streams available on my channel to watch are like 550, somewhere around that number. So that would mean that one fifth of my whole channel now, roughly, is Mario Kart Wii. And as like a comparison, I've only played Smash Ultimate for like 40 videos so far, so it's definitely... Uh, Quite crazy right there. Also, as I'm recording this right now, and this literally just went down like 20 minutes ago, the new Nintendo Switch just got announced, right? The Nintendo Switch Mini, I think it's called. Or it's actually called the Nintendo Switch Lite, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It doesn't look too bad, though, honestly. It's like the, the 2DS, really, where it's worse in every aspect, really. And when it comes to the Switch, it doesn't have the Joy-Cons, you can't use Rumble. It can't even connect to your TV as well, so it's truly just a handheld, light, smaller system. But then, of course, the one benefit and the, and the one reason people buy it in the first place is just the, the cheaper cost, really. And that would make sense, right? A, a different market, especially for, like, kids as well, they always tend to break just valuable items. Giving them some kind of cheaper system is definitely not a bad choice as a, as a parent right there, so... I'm just not quite sure if the Switch itself really needed a change like this, an addition, right? As the Switch already, it already kind of caters towards the handheld market with the whole switch aspect of it right and then as i said with the cheaper price it's not even too much cheaper i don't think it's like 200 dollars i think it said oh my god i always die here dude. <laughs> uh, i believe the regular switch now is still like 300 dollars so you do you do save a bit right 100 dollars is definitely a lot but for an extra 100 dollars you can play it on your tv as well you can dock it up anywhere where you want as long as the tv itself has some hdmi ports then you can just play with the switch there so it's not too much of an improvement i would say it's definitely dope though always that's what i said in the trailer too in the announcement having more options to choose from is almost always a good thing so it's not really bad i guess it's just that i think that having like a switch pro version with like better hardware would just be like more suited for me and i'm not really a handheld gamer anymore i used to play it all the time on the 3ds right that's like purely handheld right there but when it comes to the switch right i've only really undocked it a few times and i've taken it with me as well here and there on like holiday destinations right vacations and stuff yes but then again i actually don't think i've used them too much there either so i think handheld for me i mean the last video i made was about phone games i do kind of play that a little bit here and there but mostly just on pc that console actually so not even pc itself let me know what you guys think of the new switch though by all means uh, by the time this video goes up it's only been like a few hours since the announcement so i am actually kind of curious if they changed any hardware with the switch mini itself the switch uh, switch Lite. it's such a dumb name too i can't can't remember that, honestly, but... Again, as I said, removing the whole motion sensor kind of thing, that definitely saves on production costs right there. And I guess making it so it can't really connect to the TV makes sense, too. Because here's kind of the thing, right? Imagine if I didn't have a Switch myself yet, and you could just use the Switch Lite to, like, you know, play on the TV. And that, for me, I don't really care about the handheld just aspect whatsoever, right? I'm definitely down to play it just on the TV itself. So, for me, if the hardware was the same as well, it would make no sense to buy the regular Switch. If I can get the same thing, really. Same quality of console, for my experience, for 100 bucks cheaper, right? It just doesn't make any sense. And that is why, of course, I didn't make it so you could play it on the TV as well. It, it, yeah. Again, it's more of just like a gimmicky 2DS kind of style 3DS, where once Nintendo realizes nobody is really interested in that except little kids, they'll drop the price down even further. And then it starts to become interesting. I think the 2DS, like the second year it was out, you could literally buy one for like $80, I think. So that's definitely worth it right there definitely very valuable but now with the new switch actually being announced they even called the whole switch collection the family of switches what's the actual odds of nintendo making like a, a pro switch right a switch pro like good hardware and then it would be like only for households right no portable at all that it kind of ruins the the switch element then again the switch light does as well so it's, it's possible i mean if you just look at the 3ds itself they had so many freaking different variables for that one there are really so many different 3ds's at one time where it just it, it just went crazy actually but what about a switch xl or a, a new switch it just <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest, though. It's definitely a, a Nintendo kind of thing to do stuff like this. Also, I've been getting slapped this whole video. I'm sorry. I, 
I'm not playing too well here at all. Now that I'm actually thinking about it, I, I think even with like the Wii, they had like different kind of spin-offs. I believe that was called the Wii Mini, right? Where again, it's just a worse, cheaper version of the Wii, where it only had like, I'm not quite sure what the catch was. I think it didn't have any internet connections or something like that. It was quite bad though, but again, it's just cheaper for families. If they want to buy a cheaper system, it makes some kind of sense. Or I believe the actual catch was that the Wii didn't have like an SD card reader, like a little slot for it. So that would then kind of just destroy the whole purpose of having one these days. Because if you can't play Mario Kart Wii online, then what are you doing with your Wii, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This lobby is actually really, really bad. It's such a shame I'm like talking over this. <laughs> yeah, if I was doing like some kind of live gameplay kind of style of video here, this would be like a dream lobby, honestly, for real. Just look at that beautiful spread on the minimap right there. All those different kind of characters too. Dream lobby, man. <laughs> okay. I do think it's gonna do it for this video right there. If you guys enjoyed this, then by all means, leave a like down below and subscribe for more videos like this potentially in the future. Nintendo Switch Lite. Yikes, I don't know, it's not too bad, like, for real. Definitely classic Nintendo, if anything, so not too special, really. Also, before I go, I do want to let you guys know that I've been streaming a lot more on Twitch, so by all means, uh, follow me there, and then I'll see you guys in the next episode. Enjoy your say.